Uh, so I've been trying to uh, actually find the error and uh, that was quite simple it's because you know uh, look at our database and I have already uh, it's because you know I have multiple times I have registered this person and uh, for the session it was quite uh, difficult which you know user to actually use so at the same time uh, uh, you know I was actually logged in so now what we have to do is in our app.py we are going to create a logout route where we can actually end the session you know unless the session is not ended we cannot uh, you know uh, log in again that's what that's why the uh, you can check the previous video like you know uh, there were two messages you know there was that user not found so it's because uh, the session was not given the permission to actually keep the track of another user so that's why we for that purpose we're going to create a route for uh, logout so that it will be very easy for us to actually end the session so we're going to say logout define a function and then you can also call it as logout not a problem so here you say session dot clear and uh, hopefully this is going to work after the session is clear I want a message to be displayed as uh, you are logged out and and I want to be taken to uh, want to be taken back to maybe uh, login page yeah that would be better so return uh, return redirect url4 take me back to uh, login page that's it so let's now give it a try and i hope everything works properly and i want to go to that dashboard page so we register uh, a person we say john and then uh, email us John, whatever, J, I don't know, J O H H N at gmail.com. Uh, I say KML, password 12345, RFW, whatever. So we get the message you are registered and can log in. So let's log in. The, the name was KML. The username was Camille and the password one two three four five R F V. Let's see. Hopefully we are. Yeah. So congratulations. You your uh, web page is now completely connected to the database and everything is working. Uh, this that we're now in the dashboard page. And that's uh, okay. Now if we want to end the session, we. Uh, Oh, I forgot to add a logout, uh, you know, button right here on the navbar. No problem. Let's add it. So open your navbar. Uh, navbar. Okay. Right here, get a uh, name it as uh, logout right here. Of course, logout. And let's see if it is. Yeah. So when we press on logout, when we click on logout, it will call that uh, route. It is going to say, you are logged out. So the session has ended. And one more thing, let's give it a try. Uh, okay, let's write, uh, let's write, it, write it right here. I'm gonna write a dashboard. So this is not okay, right? The person needs to be, uh, logged in and then he has to be given the permission to actually go to the dashboard page and even right here I don't want this log log out to appear anytime so I want it to appear when I log in and when I'm on the dashboard it should be uh, shown otherwise it shouldn't be and even when I am uh, okay when we are logged in right I want these two to actually disappear so what are we going to do Let's write some codes inside our uh, navbar. Let's open the uh, 
an apple right here. Okay. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put some condition uh, right before the uh, logout right here. Or okay, I'm going to bring this logout right at the beginning to actually make things proper. Okay, I'm gonna write a condition right here. I'm gonna say if session dot. Oh, before I even do this, I have to. I need to see uh, as this was, you know. Okay, as I told you, like if I type the dashboard right here, I shouldn't be given the permission to actually do this. So for that, I have to use something called as decorator so this this decorator will take care of this whether the person is logged in or not logged out or not logged in so we will have two types of decorators one is logged in and the other one is not logged in and where do we actually get that we're getting that from the uh wt forms you can type it right here wt forms decorators decorators so hopefully we get the uh, decorators right here. Yeah. So we need to import wraps. Then, okay. Uh, uh, so I have the codes with me, but you can definitely find it right here. So I don't want to be. Uh, was the time so I'm gonna uh, maybe import, in, import it from the uh, repository that I actually have it with me so of course it is going to be in the form of a function both of them uh, so let's just place them right here at the very beginning uh, right here okay I'm gonna place the code and I will also okay we will check this che this decorator will check and also we have to import uh, import uh, for, uh, okay from fang tools uh, make sure to install this on your machine you say from fang tools import uh, wraps because this is a type of uh, decorator so it will say is logged in and is not, uh, not logged in so is logged in will take care of the session whether it, the user whether uh, the user is logged in or not or in which page do you actually want the user to be logged in so that the person can actually access so when it comes to the access level and you know what access can a person can have when using the uh, the particular website that's there you will need to actually just uh, include uh, this function and that's it so it will say it will check it's a type of it's from the wrapper class it will check if the person is logged in it will give the permission if it is not logged in it will say unauthorized please log in and it will take you back to, back to the login page and not logged in i know uh yeah pretty much like you can go through the code and uh, think is like uh, understandable right here so let's uh, let's go to our dashboard in a dashboard if I want I want the person to be logged in first so I will check is logged in I will see if how this works so let's now actually check the uh, dashboard now we are not logged in so it will say unauthorized please log in so this function right here is called yeah here sorry uh, not logged in so it will say unauthorized please log in and it is the danger so this is actually this is pretty good now I cannot go to dashboard I have to be logged in first so that I can go to dashboard and even for okay the logout is right here so I don't want the logout to appear you know right here so when I log in 
uh, I want the logout to appear and this register and login page pages to be actually vanished you know completely so what I'm going to do I'm going to open my uh, navbar inside the uh, navbar we're going to write some codes uh, okay you now word HTML as I told we'll place it in this way I'm gonna say if session dot logged uh, underscore in session log in so you're gonna say logged and then else you take this so let's end the if and F and hopefully we can see so mm, now we see the logout right here F session oh we have not saved it we need to save it yeah so this logout has now disappeared let's log in I'm gonna log in back to camel one two three four five or if we okay S yes it's working properly now we don't have the register and the login page so it's pretty well I guess now it's uh, fine and I hope uh, everybody understood so far I know it's been quite long I have talked a lot I have said a lot of things I have given a lot of information a lot of explanation uh, this tutorial was supposed to be very very short but very short but I think I made it so complicated <laughs> but uh, go through all the videos I hope you all go through the videos and understand so next we will work on dashboard through this dashboard we will give the ability to the user to actually uh, create a post and then delete a post and uh, edit the post and uh, we will need to add one more page where the person will actually list all the posts that have been uh, posted by the particular user so now everything is working properly let's uh, let's actually work on on the dashboard so log out let's let's work on the dashboard uh, okay before we even work on the dashboard I guess uh, okay let's see what our dashboard looks like uh, this doesn't look like an HTML file let's make it an HTML file you know name it as dashboard and right here uh, let's give it as uh, dashboard I'm gonna put it inside a, a container container so I'm gonna say div class container Oh, we have to log in. Mm, so it's better now. Welcome, Camille. This is uh, this code is right here. You see. So, okay. Before we even work on the dashboard, let's work on uh, how to create a post and then. We will add those functionalities in the dashboard. 
So next videos will be about how to create a dashboard, how to develop this dashboard right here for the user and uh,